Hey everyone, welcome back to my vlog. So this is a really quick one today um, and this is pretty much live um, because I'm going to film this and I'm literally going to upload it. Today is Wednesday the... Is today the 9th? I think it's Wednesday the 9th of August. <laughs> Anyway, so um, what I'm on here for is that, um, so I'm due to be having a <laughs> hysteroscopy. I hope that's how you say it, I still can't say it properly. Um, and I was meant to be on the waiting list for about four months. The gynecologist said that they were trying to get me, trying to get me in earlier so that I wouldn't have to like suffer the whole time. Uh, on Monday, I got a phone call and they were like, hey, we've had a cancellation, um, your surgery is on Thursday. I was like, okay. Yep, that's fine. <laughs> I just feel like it's not going to give me enough time to like freak out. Um, some people say there's a good thing, it's like then you don't have to freak out for a long time. Um, so the very next day I had to be at the hospital by 8 o'clock in the morning to have my um, appointment to see the um, anesthesiologist to answer 500 questions and the nurse answer 500 questions. Yeah, so hence why I have no makeup on today because I thought what a good chance to have a uh, give my face a bit of a breather because um, I can't wear any jewelry tomorrow, no makeup tomorrow, no nail polish. So um, yeah, I'm I'm all fresh. I am nervous um, and everyone's like, don't be nervous, it's so easy. But it's actually not the operation, the operation. It's called an operation, but I feel like that sounds like I'm getting my chest opened up or something like that, which I'm not. Um, but anyway, the operation is not what I'm worried about. It's actually just the going under the general anesthetic is what I, I'm not worried about it. I just always feel a little bit uneasy. I, I don't like not being in control. And I've only been under a general anesthetic once in my life and that was about five or six years ago. I got my impacted wisdom teeth out. Um, I don't really remember much of it to be honest. Um, so this time they reckon that I'll be in surgery for about an hour. The first person told me that I was only going to be in for about 20 minutes. So like it's a really quick procedure like 15-20 minutes. Um, but then the anesthesiologist said that no, um, your underlining is so thick and there's so much going on in there that it'll probably be more like an hour. I don't care. However long it takes just get it all out so that I can feel like a normal human being again. I just this year has not been great health wise for me especially um, so I'm really looking forward to 2019 being a year where I'm in good health hopefully all my woman's problems are sorted um, and especially my iron I could go on iron tablets they make you constipated don't, don't really want to have to deal with that so I'm not going on iron tablets and I'm just hoping that I can bring my iron back up slowly um, after this surgery you know stop the bleeding and um, just make sure I eat good iron rich foods I guess. Um, the anesthesiologist and the blood taking people because the blood service has lost lots of blood donors. FYI people in New Zealand go and donate blood. I've been trying for a long time um, but both of them were like your iron is really low. Um, the anesthesiologist, that is a long way to say lots, said that my, I'm almost anemic so that's fun. Um, I wouldn't notice, like I'm tired but I'm not like, oh, I'm so tired. And she said, well, I would wait until your iron gets better and then you'll be like, wow, I was so tired. <laughs> so hopefully my iron levels will be restored after the surgery as well. Hopefully my bleeding problems will be restored. Hopefully the prolonged bleeding problems will be restored. Hopefully the heavy bleeding problems will be restored. Hopefully after the surgery I'll be a new person that would be great. That's pretty much all I wanted to tell you guys. I just wanted to give you the real quick update that I am going on for my surgery tomorrow. Of course we'll take the camera in. I won't be allowed to film the surgery obviously but Martin will be able to, will be able to film like before and after. Wish me luck. <laughs> Wish me luck that it's all straightforward, that I don't have any more issues because this just seems to be the year for them. Um, yeah so in the meantime while you wait for these other videos, um, this side, click on this um, little icon here and it will take you to my current um, day in the life video which is the one where Roman ran through our conservatory glass door and cut himself like that's what I mean this year we're all been going to the doctors for like trying to kill ourselves pretty much <laughs> it's just Oh, bring on 2019, man. Bring on 2019. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Wish me luck. I hope all goes well for myself. And I hope that I am well enough in the weekend to go to this wedding. I have a wedding on in the weekend. And the anesthesiologist was like, um, 
you probably won't be dancing. And I was like, I don't care as long as I can get there. I've already paid for my accommodation, so I'm going. <laughs> we'll see how we go. Anyway, um, I'll keep you guys up to date on my Facebook page, I'm sure. Or Martin will, someone will. And um, I will see you in my next vlog. I will try and update as soon as possible. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next vlog. Bye.